Hey YouTube, my name is Desiree and I own the brand Riches and Tasha. And I kind of want to start a YouTube channel, kind of let you guys see the face behind the brand, get to know me more, and um, kind of come along on this journey with me. I feel like this is definitely a journey and um, with the clothing business and everything. And yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's a lot difficult definitely than i than i originally thought but it's definitely worth it though you know i like a a kind of a slow grind that's more rewarding because if something happens too quick you tend to like mishandle it i would say that but um yeah so i kind of wanted to talk to you guys today about my the way i did my my first drop and i got a lot of questions from certain people they wanted to know like um why did i do a pre-made versus doing a pre-order and because a lot of brands if you know like you know y'all shop with brands and everything a lot of them small businesses they'll do a pre-order instead of a pre-made and i can say that i uh i wanted to do a pre-made because basically it's simple i just wanted to build the customer's trust first and i feel like that was very important because if you're a beginner brand no one knows who you are um no one's really heard of your name or whatever they is they're going to be reluctant to trust you you know they're going to be like okay they can scam me never send me the product or just whatever you know and i didn't want to be that kind of brand and i wanted you guys to see like okay well I have everything that you order it on hand. It'll ship next day or the day after, which you have it within five to seven days, you know. And that's kind of how I wanted to um, how I wanted to start my brand, base it off of. So I will say that um, going the the uh, the pre-made route, um, I guess pre-made definitely has its pros and cons just like pre-order does so long story short i think the biggest problem with pre-made is that you may not even sell out of everything that you buy you know and you kind of you don't know your your customer base like you don't know how many people you're really going to be just selling to you may get um 60 pieces or whatever it is and you may only sell 20 you may only sell 30 or whatever and then you're stuck with the rest of everything that you didn't sell so that's really a a risk with the pre-made but i kind of um i understood the risk but i still i i just felt like my customers trust me word of mouth spread i do my marketing right i do everything that i'm supposed to even after the drop you have to keep marketing and that's the thing so even i felt like i dropped sweatsuits in the beginning you know i got 60 pieces pre-made i dropped sweatsuits it really took me it took me the whole month i dropped october 12th it took me to like november 12th november 15th or whatever to really sell out of all my products and that really wasn't bad to me i was perfectly fine with that because like i said i'm new no one knows no one heard of me they don't know who i am you know and it really took a lot i can say that i'm going to ship it the next day then i don't you know it took a lot for customers, I feel like to, to trust me. And I really, really appreciate that because it's like when you start seeing orders come in from different places, it's like, dang, okay, I'm in Texas. So you're getting orders from, I think I got, what was the craziest place? I think I got an order from Maine. Like, <laughs> I'm like, Maine? Like, I don't even know what marketing I did that y'all seen that in Maine, but it was just crazy. So it's definitely appreciated though. And and that's the reason why, like I said, I took that risk because I want to make the customers happy. And that's kind of what I wanted to do, you know, put you guys first. So now I don't discredit anyone who chooses to do pre-order because pre-order also has a lot of pros. You know, um, the one thing that I really, really like about pre-order that I would actually consider doing once I build my um, my trust and my customers and I build the community and you guys know that, OK, I'm very trustworthy i do want to do a pre-order just to see eventually what i can make because when you do a pre-order you don't have a cap on your on your profit basically you know you can make whatever it's like the sky's the limit when you do pre-made like like i said i got 60 pieces it was only a certain amount that i was going to make with those 60 pieces because that's what i got 
So that's the only um downfall kind of about pre-made, but I knew I wasn't ready to do um I wasn't like going I didn't go viral or anything like that to where it was like okay, 60 pieces might not be enough, you know, and that's the only way that kind of doing pre-made is kind of like okay, you're going to have way more customers because there are brands out there who only been established for I don't know, maybe a couple months and they go viral on TikTok. They get they go viral on Instagram or whatever. You know, TikTok will, will TikTok viral will you know definitely definitely sell you out. So those type of brands, I will say like from the business point, you should do pre order if you feel like you've been getting a lot of recognition. Your video has been going viral, everything. I get it. You you probably really should do a pre order. But like I said, I knew I wasn't in that space. I wasn't there yet. And um, my grind, like my brand, excuse me, is definitely going to be, I feel like, a slow grind. And I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly fine with that because, like I said, I don't want anything to happen too fast. And um, I'll be thankful if it did, but if it happens too fast, I'm just like, I don't want to uh, not appreciate it. You know, I'm just, that's just me. So, um, so yeah, I think another light that came on okay and leave it on but um but yeah so that's kind of uh what i wanted to just talk to y'all about tonight before i go in this gym that's why i got my hoodie on and stuff i have to work out with the hood on y'all you know, i'll be trying to like sweat as much as i can <laughs> but um but yeah my second drop is coming um next week around this time and I definitely, like, in the next video, I kind of want to talk to y'all, too, about um, mistakes, y'all, because there's so much I learned from this. I made a lot of mistakes, and um, I definitely need to correct that. But it's a learning experience, and that's kind of, too, why I wanted to start the YouTube channel because I feel like y'all are honest on YouTube. I will say that, like, you know? So whatever y'all tell me, um, feedback, um, whatever, you know, I'll definitely take it into consideration because I know there's a lot that I need to learn and a lot that I need to to fix or whatever. Like, for one, I need to be a lot better prepared. Like, that's the other thing with a pre-made. See, with pre-made, like, okay. Well, for one thing, <laughs> I messed up because I didn't, like, I won't talk about this in the next video, but I'm going to just tell you, like, I didn't get like samples made and that was probably the the worst mistake I could have did. Like that is the biggest thing. So if y'all don't take anything that I say from whatever videos I ever post, whatever anyone else says, please, please, please get samples. Like it don't matter if you know it's what December. And you're trying to drop a sweatsuit and you feel like okay, well my sample's gonna take a month to come in, but it don't matter. Like if you feel like you're running out of time for the winter season, like you still need those samples because that is very important. It'll mess up everything. So yes, that's definitely a video for another time. I'll talk to you about the mistakes I made. And the biggest one was not getting samples. And um yeah, I'm currently uh this is what I'm fixing to drop next week is kinda a um basically a restock in a sense with my best selling uh sweatsuit that I dropped back in October and like um, a few more colors or whatever. I just got more colorways. So I didn't technically need a sample of those. I mean I guess I did because to market, you know, I couldn't really market it like I needed to like so people don't know, they just see the mock up and then certain videos that the manufacturer sent me or whatever. They don't really see like the actual product. I didn't get to go take pictures because I don't have the I don't have the sweatsuit. And so I set me a um a drop date, ordered the sweatsuits from the manufacturer, and then it's like, okay, manufacturers be bullshitting. They don't send your stuff when you they're supposed to. So I'm like, okay, I'm dropping on the 14th. I I need to have my stuff in at least two weeks in advance. That was my plan. So I order it. He say two weeks. I'm like, okay, I'm a I'm gonna order it about five and a half weeks ahead of the, the drop date to make sure you got plenty of time y'all that still didn't matter they still was slow as hell they talking about everybody's placing orders right now blah blah, blah. but it's it's fine i'm gonna figure out a way to um to make it work but so i would show y'all i got one sweatsuit i'm about to sell it tomorrow to this guy my job so i'll kind of show y'all what it what it looks like 
I don't want to take it out the package though because I just I don't want to have to do all that packing and everything. I don't even know how to turn my camera around, but I'm okay, yeah, like this. I don't know if y'all can see that. I hope so. Thank you, Angel Sweatsuit. And then, okay. Ooh, the water, the pants or whatever. But, yeah, hopefully y'all can see it. I'm sorry. I, I just really didn't want to uh, undo all the packaging and everything. But, uh, next video, hopefully, I know next video, I'm definitely going to have my stuff in. I'm not even going to say hopefully. I'm gonna, I got the tracking number and everything. I'm just waiting on it to update. So, so yeah, um, that's just a little quick little spill I had about uh, the pre-order and pre-made. And I didn't really go into too much detail because I didn't want this to turn out and be a long video. It's just a, um, a little insight because a lot of people, I guess... Now, if you're just not starting up as a brand, why why you do a pre-made? Why um, you know, like I don't have a problem with it, but why why would you choose pre-made instead of pre-order? And so, I like guess I, I just I I needed to build that that trust with my customers first. So, yeah, if you got this far, I definitely appreciate you for watching the video. I'm about to go inside this gym, do a little workout for about a little hour or so, and um, yeah. I'm gonna definitely try to post videos maybe two or three times a week. This is my first YouTube video ever making, and so it's I'm gonna get better at it, y'all. But um, yeah, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Um, I think I got like one subscriber, and I made this YouTube channel like back in high school. Never used it, and so I don't even know who that one subscriber is. But y'all just you know. Subscribe, and if y'all have a YouTube channel, y'all trying to build a community behind y'all brand, or y'all, you have a brand, you want to ask me questions, I'm going to link my Instagram on here, my business, and my personal Instagram. And so, um, you know, y'all just shoot me a DM. And y'all got YouTube, y'all want me to subscribe to y'all, I definitely will. And, you know, we can um, bounce off, I bounce ideas off of each other, whatever. Like, I don't, I don't do any gatekeeping. Like, I want everybody to win. So, it's just clothes, y'all. People buy clothes every day. It's not like we selling the the same milk or something from two different stores. Like, <laughs> we both, like, we all can win, especially with the clothing brand. Like, it's it's out there. People going to buy. So, yeah. Y'all just definitely let me know. And give me some feedback in this video. Kind of what y'all think about pre-order and pre-made. Let me know because um, everybody is different. Like I said, I don't. You know, I don't mind. I mean, y'all have pre-orders or whatever. It works for y'all. That's really good because if you can do a pre-order and it, and it works for you, it's definitely going to make you a lot of money. So, like I said, I just know my brand personally wasn't there yet. So, that's why I didn't do it. But I may do it in the future. I mean, who knows? So, all right, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all again when I pick the camera up. Hopefully, when I pick the camera up again, I will have my stuff in, and I will definitely take it out the package, show y'all everything that is set to drop. All right. I'll see y'all later.